He's six foot five, tall for a guard, a six foot eight wingspan, which is awesome because it makes his defense, which he's very good at, even easier for him because he's really smart at taking correct angles when he's beat to get there to disrupt the play. Defensively, he's been there. That's not been a question. Offensively, we don't know how great he can be. He has a limit that, you know, if he can start averaging 12, 13 points a game for us, that's a good start. Casey's trying to find a way to get him into the games. The latest idea is let him be the leader of the second squad. Come off the bench and run the team that way. He had one great game so far with 11 points, 12 rebounds a couple weeks, like a week or two ago. Yeah, but we haven't well, seen the continuation of that. We, we, we haven't seen him grow off of that and just show it to us a little bit more consistently. Yeah, I mean, he, he needs to be more aggressive flat out. And as like a, as a fan of Killian Hayes and a fan of Michigan State, I get to watch Killian Hayes and Tyson Walker both not shoot the ball. And <laughs> it's, it's beyond frustrating because with Killian, he's, he's got the defense. He had Trey Young in like a torture chamber last night. It's one of the big reasons why the Pistons won the game. Uh, and he balled out on offense too. I think he had 11 points or four boards and like six assists or something. Um so he, he plays a good all-around game. He can rebound. Uh, he can pass really well, and he can defend. It's just about getting those shots up and getting, you know, the confidence to when he does even – when he does try to attack, try to finish through guys, try to, like, create contact where a lot of his drives, um, you know, it was a problem last year. It's been a problem this year. He'll, he'll go up, and then he'll, like, float away from the contact, almost like, you know, he doesn't want to get hit, mm-hmm. which makes your uh, difficulty of – making the shot go higher and your, you know, probability to like draw a foul way, way less. So then you're not getting any points on the drive because even if, you know, you're going hard and you, and you get fouled, you can still get points on the drive. Even if you miss the shot, you just might get banged around a little bit. And and I don't know, maybe he needs some more muscle and some more meat on his bone. So he's like, uh, you know, more, so he's not as afraid of, of getting hit sometimes, but I still believe in what Killian can do. I would love to see him and Cade, uh, you know, play together because I think just as like a backcourt defense, that is terrifying. Mm-hmm. And uh, Killian, like even in Europe, he was still a good free throw shooter. And maybe I'm holding on to this like longer than <laughs> I should, but he's shot like 90% on free throws in, uh, you know, in Europe or France or wherever he's playing. And usually that translates you into being you know, like a good three point shooter. And we haven't seen that yet, but I'm, I'm still holding out hope to where if you can just get more confidence with your shot, that he can develop into like a 37, 38% three-point shooter, and then it'll make defenses respect you more. And then maybe, you know, he'll, he'll want to go to the basket more because guys will close out harder. They'll fall for pump fakes, things like that. So for me, there's still a lot with Killian, uh, but there's also a lot to be desired because he just doesn't seem like he has that necessary mentality to develop the way, you know, a lot of Pistons fans want him to, or at least want him to, because I know a lot have already turned on Killian.